A project has following cash flows, cash inflow at zero time period 59,000, then 34,000 and 39,000 respectively for the next two years. What is IRR for this project? If the required return is 12%, should the firm accept the project? What is the NPV of this project? What is the NPV of the project if the required return is 0%? 24% what is going on here sketch the NPV profile to help you with your answer I have written these values in Microsoft Excel year 0 to 2 and cash flows respectively for each year firstly we will solve for NPV at 12% this will automatically help us to solve for internal rate of return interest rate is 12% I will write here interest as 12% 12% for the zero time period there will be no change on the present value so this value will be automatically pasted as it is to calculate for the NPV firstly we need to calculate the present value the present value of the series can be computed by using this formula present value is equal to cash flow divided by 1 plus i raised to power p I will write here present value the first value will be same as it is as it is already received at zero time period the second value that actually we have paid after one year its present value will be equal to cash flow divided by 1 plus i that is 12 percent raised to power 1 for the second year again I will write equal to cash flow divided by 1 plus interest rate i raised to power n that is number of years or t to compute the present value of the series I will write equal to sum and add the present value of these cash outflows and the net present value is equal to to compute the net present value I will write here NPV equal to NPV is the initial investment plus the present value of cash flows initial investment plus the present value of cash flows the NPV of the project is 2447 that has negative sign so this project will not be accepted as the net present value of the product is negative to compute the internal rate of return we will use this formula IRR is equal to IL that is low discount rate IH that is high discount rate PVL is the present value at low discount rate PV actual that is the present value of the initial investment and PVH is the present value at high discount rate so to compute it we need to calculate the present value of this project by using a different discount rate I will use 16% discount rate to calculate the present value again the value received at zero time period will be same as it is for the next year cash flow divided by 1 plus i that is 16 percent and raised to power 1 for the second year again equal to 39,000 cash flow divided by 1 plus i that is 16 percent raised to power 2 that is time period and the present value of the series is equal to the sum of both cash flows that we have paid in two years and the net present value will be initial investment plus the present value of the series that is 706 to compute the internal rate of return we need to have a discount rate at which the NPV is positive and an other discount rate at which the NPV is negative we have both these criteria at 12% the NPV is negative and at 16% the NPV is positive so our discount rate 
or internal rate of return will be between both these values. The IRR can not be less than 12% and not more than 16%. To compute the internal rate of return, I will write here equal to IL that is 12% plus bracket start IH that is 16% minus IL that is 12% into present value L plus the initial investment divided by present value L minus present value at higher interest rate bracket close present value L minus present value actual is used as present value L plus present value actual basically we need to calculate the difference between these two values one value is already in negative and the other is in positive so if I use negative sign then the both these values will be added so that's why I have used present value L plus present value actual and the IRR is equal to 15.10 if we use Microsoft Excel function then IRR is equal to 15.07 the first requirement was what is the IRR for this product so the answer is 15.10 is the IRR of this product if the required return is 12% should the firm accept the project, the cash flows for the project are unconventional. Since the initial cash flow is positive and the remaining cash flows are negative, the decision rule for the IRR is invalid in this case. So we cannot decide that whether to accept or reject this project based on the internal rate of return. The next requirement is that what is the NPV of the project if the required return is 0% 24% to compute the NPV at 0% and 24% I will simply change here the value of 0% all values and formulas will be adjusted automatically and we have the net present value is minus 14,000 it means at 0% the project is not feasible and this project will destroy the value of the firm. If we want to see the NPV at 24%, I will simply write here at 24% and the NPV is a positive 6 to 1, 6. It means if the required rate of return is 24%, then the NPV of this project will be positive at 6216. The next question is, what is going on here? sketch the NPV profile to help you with your answers. To answer this question, I have copied the interest rates and their NPVs. At 0% the NPV was negative 14,000. At 12% the NPV was 2400 negative. And at 24% the NPV was positive and the value was 6200. And the same thing are shown here in graph. It shows that the, as the interest rate is going up, the NPV is also increasing. In normal situations where there are conventional cash flows, if the interest rate increases, the present value of a series goes down. But here in this case, if the interest rate is increasing, the net present value of the project is also increasing. And the same is shown at this graph. If you are facing any problems in any finance questions you can contact us we will try our best to answer your questions as soon as possible thank you take care allah hafiz